welcome back to another Steel Maze Flow tutorial. I'm Coach Kristen and I have the pleasure and honor of being a Steel Maze coach and educator. It is rainy and cold outside, so unfortunately today's flow is going to happen in the wonderful old garage. We are going to kick things off with a 360. As that 360 comes around, my bottom hand is going to catch Pinky Do Wall, but I'm going to go into a tall active pivot uppercut. From here, I'm going to go into a sword draw transition, and then I'm going to send that tail all the way around into an outside wrist roll, resting it on my back shoulder, and then I'm going to lever it over my head, and as it comes over to my front shoulder, I'm going to step back into a hunter squat and rest it into my shield arm. Now, as I stand up, I'm going to take my free hand and push down on the globe, which is going to whip the tail all the way around. I want to catch it under my armpit. So as I come up, I'm going to push down, whip, catching it in this Shaolin zero position. I like to catch it and absorb it in this um, hinged, hinged over. And then I'm going to step out and raise my Shaolin zero up into a step two lunge. From here, I'm going to pull the globe in front of my stomach, allowing it to roll over my thumb so that I can catch it in a Kimura grip, shifting my weight to my step two lunge on the other side. Now, this next part has a little bit of a cheat in it. Um, not a cheat, just a, a sneaky hand transition. So I'm gonna circle that globe down and around as I pull my feet together. As that mace comes around, I need to flip my grip on the mace from thumb to grip to pinky to grip. So as I'm turning that mace around, I'm also turning my hand around so that I have the sword up position or pinky to globe. Send that tail under my armpit into an inside sword swing that's going to take me into a crescent step facing the back. And then I'm gonna pull it out and go to an outside sword swing, pivoting to the side wall. So you should end up facing the side in the sword up position. From this sort of position, we're gonna go into a coin flip, and then I'm gonna step back from my tall active stance into a superhero landing. Now, I've got my right foot forward. I need to replace my right foot with my right hand so that I can do an under switch with that right foot. So I'm going to slide my feet together to this um, modified beast position. So that back foot, if you have it extended, you wanna slide it right underneath you pull up on the mace as we go into that under switch and then press into our crab position, so our crab press. From here, I'm gonna take that front foot, I'm gonna sweep it, lining it up with my hand, making sure my shoulders are stacked, still looking at that globe, and then I'm gonna press up, coming into this, um, almost like I'm putting the globe down my spine, and then I'm gonna lever the tail and catch it on my free arm. While I stand up, I want my mace to slide so my mace, my hand, goes from the end of the mace to the middle of the mace. So I'm going to lower the tail as I stand up. As I'm doing that, I'm sliding the mace down so that the globe is resting at about your elbow. We're going to continue that direction of the mace all the way around. We're going to step into a curtsy squat and just tap the tail on the mace. You're aiming to get full extension with that elbow. If your hand is not choked up enough, this will be very difficult to do. Then we're gonna reverse it, we're gonna bring it all the way back. And then I'm gonna pull up on the tail, catching thumb to globe, folding it into a sword cradle on the opposite side as I lunge out in the opposite direction. So I like to come right into a Cossack squat, but you work within your ability. Then all we do is we come up, we extend our elbow into this bottoms up front position and lever it around and we are all set to go on the other side. So message me with any questions, tag me if you try this, and always, always flow on my friends.